Hey, how are you doing? Welcome back to my Let's Play here in this video game. Look what I did. I did an expansion of the house. I copied that bit right there over here, but I'm not doing a bottom part. I just put some stilts because, well, that's what my house is kind of known for. Yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. Yeah, it's just there. Yeah. Now we have a giant hallway that's very thin. Very hard to decide what to put in here. <laughs> Maybe one day we'll find out, but I was looking at this, I guess this is a courtyard. I wouldn't call this a courtyard. That's a courtyard down there. Maybe this is our other courtyard. <laughs> but we have a rope bridge right there. It looks absolutely disgusting, so we might redesign that. Um, but right in between here, I want to put something similar to that, but it's gonna be more like a clothesline. And actually, maybe it's a clothesline that we haven't used in years. Sure, that sounds good. Let's build one. Uh, this is a brief intermission of building my clothesline to say that scaffolding sucks. Like, how did I get it that off? I counted 24, didn't I? How's it look, Bob? Does it look good? Wow, look at that. Didn't turn out too bad. I want it to have that look like I haven't touched it in years. I don't, don't even ask how I'd managed to get my clothes up there in the first place. Um, yeah. I'd say that looks good. I, it kind of had messed up. No, it looks fine right through there. Now, this is the look I want to give this bridge right here. Now, I have all of these lanterns hanging off of it, but it just looks freaking ugly. And I never implemented trap doors into it like I did right there. So, we're going to tear this thing completely down and make it look way better. God, 33. Fine. Uh, I can't complain. I just built a freaking guardian farm. I can go out there and get 100 levels so easy. Oh, hey, Ollie. Okay, where was I? Working on this darn bridge. The sounds you gotta make when you break blocks. Okay, this road bridge looks a lot more organic. So I basically just added more stairs right here. Before, it was more of a straight line to it, but this one adds more, a bit more droopage, like right around in this area. I only put trap doors right here. Yeah, I think that's all right. Uh, no, I don't think I'm gonna hang more lanterns from it. I think I'm just gonna do this little trick where just random ropes are hanging from it. Maybe this rope bridge is slowly falling apart. Hey now, hey, get back here. Hey, I'm trying to figure out how you got out. The portal is in there. And the only way to get up there is through the sky bridge. And the only way to get out of the sky bridge is going through the house. How did, how did he get out? There we go, some droopy ropes. I got rid of two of these trees here because they're just blocking the view of some of this stuff. Might even get rid of that one. Honestly, these should all be torn down and made into custom pine trees because they would look so much better. But God, those things are probably one of the hardest things to make in Minecraft. Like good, like very good looking custom pine trees about this size. Psh, that's just my excuse because I don't want to make one. <laughs> All right, well, uh, maybe we should work on some of this more. I've got a lot of open windows here that need to be closed off, such as here and all those up top there. You know what? I'm always trying to find ways to add age to the house, and over here, I'm debating on if I should put more leaves on the top, such as right here. But why don't I replace some of the roof with moss blocks? Why have I never thought of that? Let's try it. There we go, like so. Just dotted it all around the roof. Maybe moss is growing up there. Um, yeah, I don't think that's a bad look. I should probably do this all around my house. Some, nah, I don't want to overdo it. Um, such as maybe some of these roofs. I mean, these have been here longer than these. <laughs> that's for darn sure. Should I do that? Yeah. Yeah, like this one, for example, and these. It would probably make it look so much better. I ran out, though. I need more. I'm slowly starting to realize how useful the hoe actually is now. It's got so many different blocks that it mines really fast, and I didn't even expect it to mine this as fast, but it makes it so much easier. Spooky. What else have I been doing? Not much. Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to finish up these windows in here. I'm trying to make this look a little structured up here. This map room, I don't really know what I want it to look like. I really like, I'm thinking about moving this map over there and then I can turn this giant wall into something. What do I do with this? Look at this, what I'm, look what I'm looking at. What do I do with this? <laughs> I don't know. I don't like this right here. I'm just gonna put a wall right here. That'll work. But I am happy with the way it has turned out today. This is just a nice little vibe over here. All right, let's go do something else. <laughs> 
Hmm, that was my second coffee of the day. That's not good. Usually when I can't find the motivation or find the will to do something, I just drink another cup of coffee. And usually it comes to me, it lasts about 30 minutes, 40 minutes tops, and then another crash comes. I don't exceed two coffees though. Uh, I'm becoming so reliant on coffee. It's, it's bad. <laughs> Ignore these tree stumps, they look gross. But look at this. I'm trying to come up with a goopy look. Now it looks great from here, but up close it's gonna look a little funky because to get all these blocks, you have to use different ones, but they're all dark blocks. So when you get close, you can kind of see uh, we're <laughs> mixing it with skulk, blackstone, whatever this is, the yeah, nether brick fence and the chain, but it looks great. And since the infection area in our lab is really dark, I think this is going to look good over there um, because I love this somewhat goopy look. I don't even know the chain is necessary. That's just like, I would just do that. Maybe that. Yeah, even that looks great. I'm gonna go fiddle around with it. Minecraft is hard. I did actually go work over there at the lab and add some of my goopiness, infection goopiness. But then I got distracted as usual and I came in here and I noticed this map. This is a four x four, isn't it? Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, you can check right there. What's this one? Oh, oh. I was attempting the 4x4 four four map, no, the 4x4 four four scale map in a 3x3. Three three. I want to do that so bad. You could, can you imagine if we get this? And I know why I gave up on it. It's because right when we were doing this, our world was glitching out, like badly. Hey, you know what? I'm going to unlock this one right now. And we have to make a new 4x4 four four scale it's because our old 4x4 four four scale, which is this right here, is different as you can see our homes right there but on this one our homes in the top left well this is gonna take about an hour I'll be right back okay there's one map as you can see you can actually <laughs> this is why I, I never really wanted to do it is because we're gonna see this line go all the way down the center here but well can't really change that now this took a while Killed my Electro Wings and burned through all my rockets. This one goes right here, as you can see. The Mesa Bomb starts appearing around here. So, the next maps I'm going to unlock is this one, this one, and this one. Now, these, these might have some unloaded terrain in them. This is how far these go and how big this map is. Which is why I haven't really done a 3x3 three three map yet. Because usually I try to limit exploring a whole lot for future updates. But this is going to look so cool once it's done. Because basically, if you look at it, how big this is goes from, yeah, you can see the ocean right there, and it goes all the way to right at the edge of the mesa. So from here all the way to here is one map. <laughs> Hi, cutie. Pulled off a miracle. I got another one unlocked. Boom! That is the most map we have seen ever. That is bigger than any of these. Look at that. That's actually insane. <laughs> so I have explored most of this terrain because there were this was just all chunk borders. I've explored probably all this down here too. Maybe there's some new terrain down through here. I know I've explored all this and all this, but these are also still in the open. We're gonna slow, I think we're gonna unlock one every episode until we have them all done. It's gonna look pretty cool. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was talking about right there. Um, just throwing in a few clumps. And the thing is, it was easy to do it on this roof. I don't know how I managed to make them different, but I, it's easy to do on this because these are out of blocks. But this one over here, for example, I don't know why, but I... Wait a minute. Why didn't I... Interesting. <laughs> uh, what I'm trying to say is I put stairs on top of these blocks on this roof. Why did I do that? I guess it's as easy as removing them. It's not that big of a detail. Plus, you would have the option to throw those blocks on top and add even more detail. So yeah, we should probably do that. <laughs> Eventually, it's just going to be one giant mossy house. Oh, I love it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and answer today's comment question. What? It's already over. Yeah. From staying chilly, surprise faced. What is your favorite tiny detail? Something we would pass over on the world download. Whoa, that is a good question. Well, I've got multiple, like that's one of them right there. Only a few of you probably know what that is, or probably a lot of you. Um, 
but I guarantee just a few of you do. You'll probably see that as like some weird nether mass creation. But of course, that was the nether reactor back in the day on Pocket Edition when we didn't have the nether yet. So it's like a, that's like a symbol of this world, honestly. Um, other things, uh, kind of like this right here. I love hidden redstone. If I never showed you this, you would never find it because the button's kind of hidden right there, but it opens up down here to this place. Other small details you'd probably miss is maybe like this chest right here, which is actually very convenient. It's called the cobble dump. You sh Even though I don't use it that much, most of the time I go upstairs and throw my cobble in that chest because cobble has some of a use, so I'm always using it up there. But if I have a mass load of cobble, maybe after mining, I throw it all in there. It gets filtered through this hopper system. And also I have a, like a freezer right here a lot of people probably don't know about. And this goes down here to... Of course, the freezer room or more messed up trap doors where I store my meats that I absolutely never use and go in. And then of course that cobble dump goes right here. I thought this was a good idea because, wow. Oh yeah, I had that glitch where half the chest disappeared. Nah, man, we haven't been down here in a while because ever since that corruption went through my world. You know what's funny? It still blows my mind that that corruption went right through the center of our world. Just all them chunks reset. And the only thing, literally the only creation, well, no, it was two creations, that it messed up was our portal right here, and we had a fossil right here, and it destroyed that. Huh. You know what I just now realized? They fixed the mangrove trees, and we've had this new wood in the game the whole time, and I haven't even looked at them yet. I'm going to look at them next episode. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for watching this weird episode today. Uh, I'll see you in the next one, though. Take care. Comb your hair. Bye-bye. No, seriously, comb your hair. Look at it.